Hello friends, welcome back to Me and the Boys Wrestling. This is season two, this is episode six. I've got my notes loaded up, ready to go, I might add. None of this uh, waiting while I find the notes. Tonight, we are going to see a Royal Rumble. And here's the thing, what I'm all about here at Me and the Boys Wrestling, a shot at a shot. So if you show me something in that Royal Rumble, we're going to get you into a elimination chamber for the number one contendership, which we don't have. We need a new number one contender now. Last week, we saw Brooke cash in and uh, dethrone Zippe. Wait, did he cash in? No, it wasn't a cash in, was it? Let me check my notes. I even have last week's notes loaded up. So we saw an eliminator for the number one contender, which Chris won. And then we saw Zippe versus Chris. And yes, Brooke cashed in. Money in the bank. Cashed it in. And uh, took the title back from James Zippe. These guys are just trading this belt around. Like it's a game of hot potato. We also saw a tag team match between DMP and Sheamus taking on Dr. Volcano and Bo Dallas. Where we saw DMP and Sheamus win. Which means that DMP... Is going to get a title shot tonight against the newly crowned twelve thousand dollar champion, James. That's me. I got my first title. Picked up my first singles title here. Me and the boys wrestling. And uh, yeah, uh, I took it last week from Kennedy. And uh, yeah, we're going to see the winner of that elimination chamber match take on Brooke in our main event. So, without further ado. Let's press play on this link now, Future James. And ladies and gentlemen, and ladies and gentlemen Whoa, here, the we'll dive right in. Here we go, we got ourselves a Royal Rumble. I'm gonna guess that it's 20 guys, but it could be 30. We'll see, starting us off though, we got Deadpool versus Carnage. Bit of a pop culture situation here. Let's see some of these other guys and what they have to offer me and the boys wrestling. I can't get this volume right. It's either too quiet or too loud. Here we go. Both men in red. Both guys look sick. I had nothing to do with the creation of these two characters. They came downloaded. And that's how they looked when I got them. Well, Carnage's face disappears. Deadpool taking a minute to showboat. We'll see Deadpool really in control right now. Deadpool has used one of those finishers, but I didn't uh, I didn't catch it. Let's see here. Oh, Carnage hits an RKO out of nowhere on the Merc with a mouth, but he shoots right back up. Dead, uh, Carnage hits him with a snapmare and then drops an elbow right into the top of the skull. And kicks him right in the back. Nothing fancy about that, friends. Just a solid kick right in the back. Deadpool reverses, though, and hits a knee lift. And then a fireman's carry. And hits one of those. The dog's chewing his bone excessively loud. Titus the Wonder Dog, ladies and gentlemen. Barking at his own farts. Which superstar is this going to be? Here we go. Start the countdown. We're going to see who's next. <coughs> this is an over-the-top situation. And it's uh, it's for the money in the bank. I should have mentioned that. I That slipped. I was excited for the, uh, the part where you... Oh, wow. Deadpool just tosses Carnage over like a pile of garbage and then squares up with the Riddler. Uh, but yeah, this is for the newly vacant Money in the Bank contract briefcase thing. And uh, yeah, I, I undersold that. But if you show me something here, you're going to get put into the elimination chamber happening later tonight. Which would also give you a 1 in 6 shot at coming away with a, a title shot here tonight. So. <clears throat> Deadpool versus the Riddler. That's a neat... Uh, that'd be a neat matchup, like in comic books. Oh, wow. Deadpool hammers the Riddler over the top rope from that corner spot. You don't see that too, too often. 
These competitors are just trying to Countdown is on. Let's see who we got coming in next. Coming in at number four. We've got... One of the things you have to come to terms with in the Royal Rumble is... Who we got? Dr. Volcano. Wow, Dr. Volcano squaring off against Deadpool. Two very charismatic characters. Two kind of anti-heroes. Deadpool drops the big leg. Deadpool with no finishers left. Dr. V coming in with three finishers. Wow, big gut buster. He's in full control now. Ooh, a gut buster. That was all sorts of nasty. Another gut buster. Deadpool really going to work on that gut of Dr. Volcano. <laughs> the soft underbelly of Dr. Volcano. Dr. V reverses though, shoves Deadpool away and then goes in. We'll see he's gonna fire Deadpool into the corner. We'll see where he's gonna go from here. Oh, it hits a big clothesline, knocks Deadpool right over the top. Wow. <clears throat> Dr. Volcano standing waiting to see who's next. Oh my god, it's Mikey P. Mikey P really coming on as of late here. Really exploring that move set. It's only a matter of time before Mikey P does some damage here at me and the boys wrestling. Friends, if you're enjoying the action here at me and the boys wrestling. This kind of digital wrestling league, this digital wrestling universe that uh, I've created. Look at that, pet it with the super kick. Wow. If you're enjoying the content here, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Um, we need those subscribers, you know. It's the only way to get the money for this. Turn this into something lucrative. Here we go, we got Brent squaring off against Pettit. Not that it's about, oh my god, Pettit, Pettit just on fire. <laughs> Two eliminations in, you know, ten seconds. Pettit does a somersault and lays down in the ring. Showboating. And does a backflip for good measure. Yeah, we need those subscribers. Need those subscribers to get the money. It'd be very funny if, uh... If out of all of my artistic ventures that me and the boys wrestling was the one that took off, but you never know. Pettit misses Wild with a big right. He's going to grab Kane again, drag him over to the ropes, and he's going to set him up. And another super kick. Pettit has taken out three men in like 30 seconds and is just absolutely on fire. And I'll tell you right now, we're going to put him into the Elimination Chamber match. Three eliminations. I've seen enough. We're at number eight, and Mike Pettit is going in to the Elimination Chamber match. Set Jeff Hardy. Oh, no. Jeff Hardy holds a strange distinction here at Quarantine League Wrestling, wherein, uh, or sorry, me and the boys wrestling. Wow. Uh, wherein before I created a title, I did some experimenting, and I created a Royal Rumble or not a Royal Rumble, a Battle Royal title that was only defended in eight-man Battle Royals. We've arrived. It's about and yeah, we haven't done anything with that title. And Jeff Hardy still just happens to hold it. So in terms of length, one of the more prestigious titles at Me and the Boys Wrestling. Jeff Hardy came up big in that exchange. Jeff Hardy's on the Mikey P and Jeff Hardy slugging it out in the middle of the ring. But for every punch that Jeff Hardy lands, Mikey P lands a big Uranagi or a suplex. Just big move after big move. Big jawbreaker there. Mikey P fighting angry here. And hits a massive RKO on Jeff Hardy. The charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. Wow, and there he goes. Pettit with four big eliminations here in the early goings of this Royal Rumble. Let's see who we got. Coming in ninth, I believe. Coming in ninth, we have Two-Face. Two-Face from the DC Universe. Harvey Dent, the district attorney of Gotham City. I guess former district attorney. Pettit hits a massive DDT. And is absolutely dominant. There's some vicious strikes. Those educated feet of Mikey P. Of uh, a, a blinding flurry of shots followed up by the Pele kick. And Two-Face hits an arm drag. And another arm drag. 
Going to take Mikey P down, maybe slow some of the momentum here. It's been all Mikey P. It's been all Mikey P here for the last couple of minutes. Four, four eliminations for Mikey P, and that could be a record here. Then there's number five. Pettit is absolutely dominant in this Royal Rumble outing. We'll see if that translates into a uh, either a money in the bank by the end of this or a, a number one contenders match later. Here comes Luke Harper, Brody Lee. Rest in peace. A, a huge uh, fan of Big E, Brody Lee. From what I read, uh, him and Big E are best friends. And now, if you're following along in the real world, Big E just became the WWE champion. That's how far behind I am, just to give you an idea. Mikey P hits a backstabber on Brody Lee. But yeah, there was a lot of memes. You know, Brody Lee would have been really happy to see Big E as the champion, so that's nice. Pettit hits a violent flurry again and finishes it with a roundhouse kick to the side of the Luke Harper's head. I don't know what's red in Luke Harper's mouth or what's going on with that, but that's weird. He's got red all over his face. Pettit fires Harper into the ropes and then follows him in and hits a big knee. Pettit trying to work up that power bar, get himself a finishing move stored up. There's the signature. That'll activate the finisher. We'll see. Pettit likes to use that big super kick to knock guys over. He's put out five men already. Five men. And he's going to drag Harper over. And he's going to super kick another man over. But Harper doesn't go all the way. Oh, wow. Pettit spends a finisher but can't take Harper out. Oh, but he fires him over anyway. That's number six. That is a, this is a massive showing for Mikey P, who's obviously going into the, the elimination chamber for the number one contendership. Here comes the former champion. Zippe coming down. Oh, it looks like I didn't uh, give Zippe his alternate attire. I thought I had done that by now. Maybe I forgot to click it. But either way, we got Zippe versus Mikey P here. And let's see what happens here. Zippe coming in with that full block of fresh uh, fresh finishing moves, and that's going to catch up to Mikey P, and he's not going to be able to withstand that. Zippe picking up just lawn darts Mikey P over that top rope, and we're going to see who's next coming in this rumble at number 11, or number 12, sorry. It is one of two characters. It's the Easter Bunny, ladies and gentlemen. The Easter Bunny going to square up with Zippe. And we'll see. Zippe's going to rain blows, rain elbows down on that shoulder area of the Easter Bunny. And I don't care who you are. That doesn't feel nice. Magical character or otherwise. Easter Bunny hits a neck breaker on Zippe. And then a snapmare. Or a neck snap. Neck snap. Bunny just measures Zippe. Zippe, though, up quick. And he's going to hit the bunny with a big falcon arrow. And that's going to slow the momentum of the Easter bunny. These two guys just... And another falcon arrow from Zippe. Zippe earning that falcon arrow after a, a war with Brent over the move. And the bunny just stands up. Hits Zippe with his own finisher. What a disrespect move. Wow. Spends a finisher. Just to disrespect Zippe. And that's not going to sit well with the former champion. It's got a, a judo takedown there. And then he's just going to he's just gonna grab that bunny and break his neck. Just like that. Oh, wow. Zippe went for a waist lock, but the bunny countered with a headbutt. And the bunny fires Zippe to that apron. Let's see. Zippe could be in trouble here. Wow. The bunny puts out Zippe. The Easter Bunny puts out Zippe. But Zippe put out Pettit. And you know what? You put out a man who puts out six men. And you're the former champ. That's enough. Welcome aboard. You can be in the elimination chamber later. And the Bunny with one elimination. Here comes Jerry Lawler. One of the best commentators of all time. And he's going to hit a finisher immediately on the Easter Bunny. 
It's going to hit that big pile driver. And just fire the bunny over the top rope. Just like that. We're going to put the bunny in the uh, elimination chamber just because they got to start filling out that lineup. And Mikey P put out so many people and made so many people look uh, look weak that we got to start adding names. We got Chris now going to square up with uh, the King Jerry Lawler. Chris misses wild with a hook and Lawler takes advantage. Hits Chris with an elbow. Oh, and goes for a maybe a side slam, but Chris reverses, flips all the way over, and now Chris is in control, hits Lawler with a big knee lift, and still has three of those uh, initial finishers to the Kings one. We'll see if that factors in. Chris hits a scoop slam on the King. And then goes for the trapezius claw, which hurts. You don't want to deal with that kind of pain. Chris is going to pick the king up now and see what he decides to do. Just punches him square in the gut. Chris going uh, going conservative with those finishing moves, and you're going to want those down the road. You know, you run into a man who's on the apron. Now you can just super kick him off instead of having to hammer the buttons. The king with a big European uppercut onto uh, diaper-clad Chris and a big clothesline. What a what an interesting contest. The kind of thing you're only going to see here at Me and the Boys Wrestling. I think we're finished with the uh, the in-ring career of Jerry the King Lawler. Got to believe we are. And Chris never had an in-ring career. So the only place you're going to see this action, this matchup, and this kind of a raw deal for Chris is right here at Me and the Boys Wrestling. Jerry the King Lawler just hammers Chris over. Chris hanging on to those finishing moves, but... Doesn't get to use any of them. Oh, wow. Jerry the King Lawler is about to uh, run into the brick wall that is the Mad Titan Thanos. Jerry Lawler goes right to work, though. Hits him with a big clothesline. Thanos is going to come in, of course, with some finishing moves. Looks like he only came in with one for some reason. Unless I missed him spending two finishers, but that's... The king goes right to work. Anticipated that attack perfectly. Pendulum backbreaker. Look like the king went for a stunner and got caught. Now Thanos has all the momentum. Thanos picks this man up for a fireman's carry, and he's going to hit the Falcon Arrow. The Falcon Arrow, I think, is the default finisher. Like, if you don't assign your character a finisher, they end up with the Falcon Arrow, so... We've had some discrepancies. I don't have time to go change everybody's moves, but so it's always kind of funny to see the Falcon Arrow. We had our own situation in in the in the me and the boys war room, where Brent and Zippe both were using the Falcon Arrow, so we had to resolve that. Zippe ended up winning the move. So friends, again, whoever wins this battle royal is going to come away with the Money in the Bank briefcase, and they're gonna have a guaranteed title match at some point here at Me and the Boys Wrestling. Jerry Lawler is about to get heaved over that top rope. We'll see. We'll see if maybe he can reverse this or if he's a goner. Thanos just up and down with Jerry Lawler near those ropes. Normally when it takes that long, yeah, Jerry Lawler is gonna reverse. Neither men with a finisher left. And we're going to see who's coming in 16. It's Darth Vader. Wow. Darth Vader from the Star Wars world going to come down and lock up with Thanos and Jerry the King Lawler. Where can you see this? Where can you see Thanos take on Darth Vader? Only here at Me and the Boys Wrestling. Your home for digital wrestling. Oh, wow. Darth Vader just locks up. Jerry the King Lawler and throws him back over his head and then hits a back book suplex on Thanos I think that's what it's called now he's going to uh, stand Thanos back up Darth Vader with all three of those finishing moves he's going to 
try and pick Thanos up, but Thanos is going to be too heavy and go go down the backside. And he hits Darth with a neck breaker. I believe this is a 20 person battle royal. But I could, of course, be wrong. Darth Vader again with that takedown on Thanos. And then he's going to go after Jerry Lawler, elbow him in the face, and bloody the man. Oh, wow. An inverted suplex from Darth Vader to Jerry Lawler. And Thanos is going to hit Darth Vader with a gut buster. And he's going to pick him up again for another gut buster. Really going to work on that gut. All that, you know, that electrical stuff, those components in the chest of Darth Vader. And he's going to hit a massive DDT on the Sith Lord. Thanos really in control here right now. He's going to drag Darth over to those ropes. But he's not going to be able to capitalize. He's going to take too long. And Darth Vader is going to elbow his way out of that situation. Jerry Lawler hits a drop kick on Thanos as we start to count for who's next. And Jerry Lawler's going to hit Darth Vader with a pile driver. Wow. Wow, coming in number 17. We've got Shane. Not a bad spot to enter. DJ Aram himself going to come in and square up with Thanos. He's going to pick him up and hit a side buster. As Jerry Lawler's got Darth Vader on the outside. Oh, Shane hits the mist on Thanos and hits that big knee to the side of the head. And it looks like he's not done yet. He's setting something else up here. Shane hits the mist one more time on Thanos and another knee to the head. Shane is on fire and the crowd is loving it right now. Darth Vader goes after Shane. And Shane hits him with a knee. Shane a big fan of Darth Vader and I'm not sure why Darth Vader would act like this. There you see my controller dying. That's the screen that comes up. But that's how quickly I resolve that issue. Darth Vader trying to twist Shane up here, but Shane reverses as Thanos grabs Jerry the King Lawler and Shane hits the mist on kind of everybody. Just green mist all over the ring. I love the green mist. Darth Vader now dragging Shane over to the ropes. Oh wow, Darth Vader's going to power bomb Shane right over down onto the floor. And that's going to end his day. Wow, just like that. Darth Vader is in. Darth Vader is in to the elimination chamber. I've seen enough. I've seen enough. So, thus far, we've got Pettit, Zippe, the Easter Bunny, and Darth Vader. And there goes Thanos. Thanos is out of here, put out by Darth Vader. I was right to make that choice. So we've got two more spots. We've got spots for two more names in our number one contenders elimination chamber match. And we're gonna see somebody win the money in the bank contract, right? Here we go. We got Rare Breed coming down. Kind of a newcomer here at Me and the Boys Wrestling. Still only been around for a few weeks. Still trying to find his footing. We'll see. Could be a big opportunity for him. With this late of a draw, he goes right after Jerry Lawler. And then right after Darth Vader and hits him with the black mass. And that's enough. You know what? I've seen enough. Let's put him. Let's put him in that chamber match. Rare breed. Let's give him a shot. Let's give him a shot at a shot. He hits a massive RKO on Darth Vader. And Jerry Lawler thinks maybe they were uh, establishing some sort of a team there, but... Rare Breed's just going to drag Lawler over and super kick him over unceremoniously. One more spot. We've got one more spot left in the elimination chamber for the number one contender. Rare Breed just hits a massive kick on Darth Vader. And we'll see. We'll see what happens here. It goes to yank him by the neck, but Darth reverses and hits a big leg. These two guys are going to see each other later in that Elimination Chamber match. Wow, here goes Darth Vader. Let's see what he's going to set up for. This will be his third or fourth elimination. He's going to power bomb Rare Breed all the way down to the floor. And he's going to say, who's next? Who's next is what he's going to say. 
superstar entering the fray here. Wow, this coronavirus. Coronavirus drawing a late number 19. It's going to come down. And he's not going to last very long. Darth Vader really making good use out of those finishers. Using them at key opportune times. And he's taken out three, four, maybe even five guys. We're going to see him later on tonight for sure. Here we go. Mustafa Ali coming in at number 20. I'm not sure why Mustafa Ali ended up in this Royal Rumble, but why not? We'll see if he's our last entrant or if there's more. I want to say that that's it. Darth Vader hitting a vicious combo here that ends with a kick right to the side of the head of Ali. And I think we've got, uh, I think there's 30 entrants here because there's no way that uh, Ali makes it into a 20 person rumble. What was I thinking? Just put him in there to get uh, power bombed by Darth Vader. So it looks like we're going to 30 here, friends, which is all right with me. It's been a fantastic Royal Rumble so far. Darth Vader is going to drag Ali over to those ropes. And again, got the finisher stored up. We're, we're going to see it again. The big power bomb where he just throws you to your death. You land right on your neck and that's it for you. Crowd's loving watching Darth Vader just pick these men up and fire them out. But can Darth Vader do that to Big Andre the Giant? Let's see. Let's see. What's he gonna do with it? Andre goes right after him. And he's going to hit that underhook suplex. Andre coming in with three finishing moves. We'll see if that's going to factor in. Because Darth Vader's used all of his at this point. Andre hits the big elbow. And that's going to take one of his finishers. You want to save those finishers in the rumble. For when you got him in on the apron. Wow, Andre with the big press slam. And just stepping on Darth Vader. Darth Vader could be out of steam here. He's got nothing left on the power bar. But he's going to reverse the big giant. Can use that speed to his advantage. And another reversal. A few big elbows and a big boot's going to take the giant down. Wow. Oh, the giant goes to pick up Darth Vader, but he can't. And Darth Vader hits a uh, reverse Russian leg sweep. I don't know. Something like that. Some kind of a face buster. And the instinct for the giant on display. Scoop slam. Giant scoops up Darth Vader just to throw him down on his back. Oh, there you see my controller dying again. So I'm not very good at putting the char the controller on the charger before bedtime. Darth Vader and Andre the Giant having a good uh, having a pretty good back and forth here. Darth Vader really holding his own. Oh my goodness. From the Marvel Universe, ladies and gentlemen, here comes Apocalypse as Andre the Giant dispatches of Darth Vader just like that. And then the military press slam on Apocalypse as he comes in. Now Apocalypse is one one guy that's left in this big enough to give Andre the Giant a run for his money. These guys are about the same size, just two giant bulls out there in the middle of the ring. Apocalypse goes for that go behind situation, but Andre elbows his way out, and he's going to catch Thanos too or er, Apocalypse too close to the ropes. It's too soon for Apocalypse. Wow, Apocalypse goes for an inverted suplex, but he's not going to be able to get the Giant up, and the Giant hits a suplex of his own. Both men with two finishers left. Apocalypse hits a couple of good strikes, and he takes the Giant off his feet. The only place you're going to see this, ladies and gentlemen... Wow, a spinning European uppercut from Apocalypse. Marvel's Apocalypse taking on Andre the Giant, the eighth wonder of the world. And the instinct from the giant You're not going to see that anywhere but me and the boys wrestling. 
Like a backbreaker and a Russian leg sweep. Wow. Apocalypse really holding his own in there. Big body shots to the giant. Apocalypse going to pick up the big giant now. You wonder just a matter of time before somebody gets dragged over to those ropes. And we'll see the winner here going to walk away with the money in the bank contract. And we're into our final 10 guys here. We're into the... Oh, there goes the big giant. Apocalypse not messing around, not wasting any time. Clothesline's the big giant right over the top. And here comes Dr. Evil. Dr. Evil. Um, looking for that prize purse. I heard it could be upwards of $1 million, of course. But he comes in and he's going to work on Big Apocalypse. He drops an elbow. Drops an elbow right into the forehead of the big man. And he's going to stomp and pick this man up. I already used all three of those finishers. That's surprising. He's going to drag Apocalypse over. And he's going to try and put him out the hard way. It doesn't look like Dr. Evil can lift this man up. That's a giant man. Nah, Apocalypse just going to punch his way out of that situation. Dr. Volcano coming, or Dr. Evil, sorry, coming in number 23. Nice late entry. And hits a clothesline on Apocalypse. Who still has three finishers. So you're going to want to... You're going to want to keep an eye on Apocalypse because he can put you out just like that. A super kick or a power bomb over the top, you're out of here. Your day's over. Apocalypse going to drag Dr. Evil. He's going to pick up Dr. Evil. And he's going to fire Dr. Evil down onto the floor just like that. And he's going to actually stand around for 5-10 seconds while he waits for number 24 to come down. Number 24... The Dream Master. The Dream Master, Freddy Krueger. We'll see. So far, his uh, Dream Master ability is not translating well to the ring as Apocalypse just throwing him. And gets reversed and clotheslined into the mat. Freddy Krueger not, uh, not really doing so well here at me and the boys. He's going to eat a big power bomb. Big sit out power bomb. Maybe the like closer to a last ride. That looked like Taker's last ride. He got him up that extra little bit. Oh, Freddy blocks. And hits a giant RKO on Apocalypse. Freddy with those finishers just as likely to throw out a super kick and put you over that top rope and end your day. Apocalypse, though, just too powerful. Freddy got to use that speed. Inverted DDT on Apocalypse, and Freddy's in control right now, and the crowd's getting behind it. Oh, wow. Freddy goes for an arm ringer, but Apocalypse reverses, and they square up. Freddy now got Apocalypse. Going to drag him over to those ropes, set him up, and wow. Big super kick. Puts Apocalypse over, and that's it for his day. Let's see who we got coming in at number 25. We're getting there, friends. Number 25, Jake the Snake Roberts going to come in and square off against the Dream Master, Fred Krueger. We'll see. We'll see how this plays out. Jake coming in with three finishers, of course. Titus the Wonder Dog, ladies and gentlemen, barking at his own farts. Jake... Did Jake hit a DDT? Looked like he did, and I missed it because the dog, because the dog was barking. Jake and Freddy trading shots. Jake hits a big elbow, and Freddy's going to fire Jake over the top rope there, but just to the apron. He's going to choke Jake a little bit on the outside. This doesn't normally translate into an out, though. See, Jake will reverse. Put a shoulder into the guts and come back in. Now let's see. Jake's going to hit a punch in the back. Looks like Freddy lost track of where Jake was there for a minute. And that shouldn't be. He's right behind you, man. He's right there, bud. 
going to stop him now. Jake Roberts again, just feeding, feeding Freddy Krueger body shots. Okay, Jake's got Freddy up, going to try and put him out the hard way and save a finisher. And we'll see if Freddy Krueger is ready. See if he's ready. Oh, wow, he is. Jake kicks him off the side of the apron. You don't see that exit too often. There's Jake. He's calling for it, but there's nobody to give it to. And we see the uh, big DDT. Coming in at number 26, somebody else from the Star Wars universe. We got big Chewbacca going to come down and take on Jake the Snake Roberts. And Jake bloodies him immediately. Immediately, Jake bloodies Chewbacca with a vicious shot, and Chewbacca's pissed. Chewbacca shoves Jake to the ground and then hammers Jake with a vicious right. Looked like Jake was out before he hit the ground. Chewbacca hits a thrust kick right into the throat of Jake the Snake Roberts. And slaps the chest of Jake the Snake Roberts. And Chewbacca hits a knockout punch on Jake the Snake Roberts. Chewbacca not messing around. Already used two of those finishing moves. Jake reverses that uh, takedown attempt. Coming in with these punches on Chewbacca. These guys are just trading haymaker punches in this ring. Nothing scientific at all about what's going on here. And Jake's back up to three finishers. Chewbacca down to none. So we'll see how Chewbacca plays this. Chewbacca's going to try and get Jake out the hard way. And he's going to do it. Going to use that strength. Okay, wow. Chewbacca going to have to stand around for a few seconds while we wait to see who drew number 27 here in this Royal Rumble for the Money in the Bank contract. Kennedy. Kennedy coming in this late. That could be a big deal. Kennedy going to come in square off against Chewbacca, who's going to hit him with a big knee lift. Oh, wow. Kennedy hits the Kend of Days on Chewbacca. Let's see if that'll take some of the wind out of Chewbacca's sails. Kennedy's going to hit him again with it. Kend of Days times two. And Kennedy's going to pick Chewbacca back up. Let's see what he's going to do here. And he's just going to say, screw it. Come down, hammer out three of your finishers. Kend of Days three times in a row to Chewbacca. Wow. Now where's Kennedy going to go with it? Going to set Chewbacca up by the ropes this could be the end of the road for and try and uh, easy, take though. Chewbacca out the hard way, but that's a heavy creature. That's a heavy creature you're trying to pick up by the leg, Adam Kennedy. That's not going to work. Chewbacca elbows, Amazing. fires a vicious hook right into the side of Kennedy's head and then slams him back against the mat, stomps on him. Chewbacca not messing around. Chewbacca wants that money in the bank contract just as much as anybody else here at me and the boys wrestling. Kennedy ducks out of there. Reverses. He's one step ahead there. Great technical know-how on display. Kennedy just hammers Chewbacca right in the face, but it looked like it only made him mad. Kennedy was some kind of a backbreaker on the big Wookiee. And there it is again from the other angle. Kennedy really going to work on the big Wookiee here. But it's not going to matter if you can't get that man over the top rope. The countdown started. Let's see. Oh, wow. Chewbacca loses his temper, just heaves Kennedy over that top rope. Not messing around. Number 28, we've got Danger Boy Dana Boyle with a good draw here number 28 gonna square up against Chewbacca gonna come down with three finishing moves hit Chewbacca with a drop toe hold Chewbacca already into the red power bar wise but still hits a spear both men with three finishers Chewbacca with a chest slap on danger boy And a vicious punch. Danger Boy hits the even flow DDT. Hits the even flow DDT on Chewbacca. 
Chewbacca's been hit with a few people's finishing moves here. Now Danger Boy's going to drag Chewbacca over to the ropes. And we'll see where he goes from here. Oh, he was going to go for something, but it looked like Chewbacca reversed. Now Danger Boy's got a good chance to take Chewbacca out, but he's just standing there. WWE 2K20, one of the most glitched video games of all time because of stuff like this. You've got a perfectly good opportunity to clothesline that man over the top rope, but Chewbacca's now going to come right back into this match. I don't understand. Dana Boyle's going to reverse, and he's going to clothesline Chewbacca and get Chewbacca out of here. Not after taking a good solid beating, though, from the big Wookiee. Here comes Darth Maul, another Star Wars character coming in at number 29, Darth Maul. Coming in with three fresh finishers, gonna square up with Danger Boy Dana Boyle in his one finisher. Oh, Darth Maul only came with one finisher? That's weird. Danger Boy hits a big uh, scissors, scissored knee drop. More style points than damage points, but that's okay. Danger Boy hits some kind of a Reverse DDT on Darth Maul. Darth Maul counters with a big right. Darth Maul hits the Falcon Arrow, the generic finishing move, but now he's out of finishers. We'll see if that factors in. Danger Boy still with one in the tank. Danger Boy reverses, kicks Darth Maul in the stomach, and he's going to... He's going to drag Darth Maul to the ropes. We'll see. Is this where that finisher comes into play? Oh, not yet. Danger Boy opts to save it. Could be a smart call. You got one name coming in left. So. Danger Boy hammering Darth Maul in the corner. Still hanging on to that finisher. Darth Maul now seated as Danger Boy looks on. If Danger Boy seems dazed. Maybe just taking it all in. He's going to hit an even flow DDT and he's going to bloody Darth Maul just like that. And he's going to, looks like he's going to set him up again. Danger Boy not worrying about the outcome of the match, choosing instead to inflict pain on Darth Maul and hit that even flow DDT a couple of times in a row. And now just standing, taking in the carnage, taking in the result of his violence and his twisted uh his twisted in-ring in-ring demolition of darth maul and here comes number 30 donald trump how do you suppose donald trump got that spot the coveted number 30 spot and he's going to come in as darth maul's trying to fire danger boy dana boyle over but only gets him as far as the apron and he's going to hit darth maul in the knee Trump goes after Darth Maul. He's going to hit Darth Maul with a Falcon Arrow. The generic finisher. Looks like Trump only got one finisher as well. Danger Boy Dana Boyle, the only me and the boys representative left. In this number, or in this money in the bank situation. Trump's now got Danger Boy up. We'll see Darth Maul. Oh, wow. Donald Trump dispatches of Danger Boy Dana Boyle, and that's going to leave us with two. The Money in the Bank holder is not going to be a Me and the Boys representative. It's going to be somebody from pop culture. And it's either going to be Darth Maul from the Star Wars world, or it's going to be Donald Trump from the nightmare that is American politics. Darth Maul with a big hip toss on uh, El Presidente, the POTUS. Trump fires back, though. Fires Darth Maul into the corner and follows him in for a big knife edge chop and a punch and a chop. And that's going to knock Darth Maul down. Donald Trump, though, going to stand him back up. Oh, and Darth Maul using that speed to his advantage. He's going to reverse, but Trump hits a European uppercut, squashing any momentum. Trump with a neck breaker on Darth Maul. Both men still kind of feeling each other out, it looks like. Trump's going to set Darth Maul up by the, uh, 
by the ropes there. And back up and clothesline him over, and that's going to be your winner, a new Money in the Bank holder, Donald J. Trump. Wow. El Jefe. El Jefe, Donald Trump, the new Money in the Bank holder here at Me and the Boys Wrestling. Wow. Just like that. I feel like there's some some shenanigans that went on because this man drawing the number 30 spot, the odds of that are so poor. So I think maybe he bought that number 30 spot. But he makes the most of it. Comes down, wins himself a money in the bank contract that's good to cash in at any time during any normal uh any normal main event or title match, I suppose. We're going to continue along here. Let me check my notes. Looks like my controller is dead again. So that's that's phenomenal. Up next, though, we've got the contender. The number one contender's elimination chamber match. We're going to see Pettit versus... We'll go at the speed that I went at when the nerves were on and everything was live. Pettit versus Zippe. We're going to randomize the order here. Who we got? Who we got next? Who we got next? We got the Easter Bunny. Easter Bunny put on a heck of a show. Heck of a show in that Royal Rumble we just saw. Pettit himself, Mikey P, took out six guys. That was insanity. Darth Vader put on a good show. Who else we got here? Who else? Who else? Rare Breed put on a good show in that Royal Rumble. Shot at a shot. That's what you get. And hey, why not? Let's put in Danger Boy Dana Boyle. Because who doesn't like to see Danger Boy Dana Boyle with his Fight Anyone shirt and his outlandish attitude come down? The last me and the boys character standing in that Royal Rumble. It's already been a pretty good night for Danger Boy Dana Boyle. Here we go. We got ourselves an elimination chamber for the number one contender. The winner of this match is going to take on current me and the boys champion Brooke. Who of course won last week cashing in his money in the bank contract. People really making the most of those cash in opportunities here. At me and the boys wrestling. Big elimination chamber. I like the elimination chamber. It's fun. And the falls can happen anywhere. You give everybody those three finishers. So it's a, uh, it's a fun setup. That number six. That number six spot. So valuable. So coveted. After we see our elimination chamber match to determine the number one contender we're going to see a twelve thousand dollar title match that was set up last week as james became the new twelve thousand dollar champion and dmp won a tag team match where he was paired with sheamus starting us off we got rare breed versus the easter bunny so let's see what happens here looks like everybody got one finisher rare breed hits the easter bunny with a power bomb and then twists it over into a Boston Crab Walls of Jericho situation. And the crowd loving it already. They got the This Is Awesome chant going on. The Easter Bunny is getting wrecked early on. In there's the Black Mass. And 12K Thou is going to roll up the Easter Bunny. And that's going to be enough. He's going to get him just like that. Untouched. Rare Breed delivers Black Mass to the Easter Bunny. And now he's going to square up with Zippe, who again doesn't have his outfit yet. I guess that's coming. I guess it's next week, bud. <laughs> it is coming, though, I promise. Rare Breed hangs Zippe out to dry on that top rope, that guillotine, guillotine rope drop. And then he's going to twist the arm. He's going to twist Zippe's arm, try and pull it out of the socket there. And drop a knee right into it. The winner of this match going to take on Brooke in our main event of the evening. And they're going to get a shot at 
the Me and the Boys Championship tonight. Like, we're going to do that right away. You don't even have to wait. Here's Zippe. He's going to hit the Falcon Arrow on Rare Breed and go for a pin. But, yeah. Going to take more than that. It's too soon. You're not going to get Rare Breed that easy. Zippe is going to hit him with it again, though. Let's see if maybe that's enough. Again, again, Rare Breed kicks out. And you don't see that too often. People don't kick out a Zippe's Falcon Arrow. But there you just saw it almost twice in a row. Rare Breed measuring Zippe. Going to hit him with some strikes. Hits a big knee right in the face of Zippe. And he's going to drag Zippe over, dump him onto that hard steel. He's going to take the fight outside. Rare Breed got a vicious streak. Wants to see Zippe eat some of that eat some of that cold hard steel rare breed going for a pin but he's not going to get him close though two and a half rare breed and zippe going at it two uh two superstars here for me and the boys there you see rare breed charging himself up trying to make a name for himself here me and the boys wrestling zippe is going to fire rare breed back into the ring you don't see that very often zippe firing a man into the ring he likes to uh he likes to fight outside the ring you got to watch out you get slippe zippe there's another falcon arrow a third falcon arrow on rare breed and that's going to be enough three falcon arrows wow no wonder no wonder that was enough here comes mikey p Really coming on as of late, Mikey P. Really showing me a lot with that move set and those crazy strikes. Zippe just firing out. Uh, oh, I thought he was going for the Falcon Arrow, but it was a flapjack. Flapjack on Mikey P. Zippe going to work on the arm. Going for a submission move on Mikey P here. One of these men going to get a shot later. Gonna get a shot later at Brooke. Pettit hits the big RKO. And he's gonna slither over onto Zippe. Is that gonna be enough? Wow, he gets Zippe. One RKO. Zippe took enough of a beating from Rare Breed that he didn't have a whole lot left in the tank. Now here comes Darth Vader. And Mikey P's gonna go right out after him, but Darth Vader's paying attention and he punches Mikey P and just dumps him back over the top rope. Mikey P with a drop toehold. Mikey P with a scissor kick on Darth Vader. And drops the knee into Darth Vader's back. Oh, Pettit hits an RKO. Really making the most of those three finishers. He goes for a pin on Vader, but he's not gonna get him. Just a long two count. Pettit's going to drag Darth Vader over and dump him on the outside where that cold steel is. Only one participant left here. Danger Boy Dana Boyle getting that long straw. Coming in at the sixth spot. I'm going to come in with three finishing moves. And you know that's going to factor in. Pettit and Darth Vader going at it here. Oh wow, Darth Vader hits a jumping pile driver and we'll see if that's enough to put Mikey P away. No, not quite. Not quite. Darth Vader hits it again, that jumping pile driver. We'll see, maybe that'll be enough. Yeah, that's enough. A second jumping pile driver. Pettit just eats it right on the top of the head. And Darth Vader's going to take him out. Danger Boy Dana Boyle in now to square up against Darth Vader. Wow, and Darth Vader hits a massive DDT right on that steel. Danger Boy, though, coming in fresh, and Darth Vader already into the red of his power bar. Danger Boy ducks out of the way of a kick and hammers Darth right in the face. And then goes for a choke and a, and a neck breaker. Danger Boy's gonna go for a cover early on, but I think it's too soon. This one's far from over. It's way too early. Harsh impact. 
Danger Boy fires Darth Vader back into the ring now. We'll see. You would think he'd want to end this as soon as possible. Yeah. Danger Boy hits the even flow DDT. He's going to go for a quick pin. Let's see if that's enough. A strong two count on Darth Vader. Danger Boy, though, is going to set it up again. We'll see. Wow. Massive even flow. And the second one, that's going to do it. Wow, Danger Boy Dana Boyle, just like that, wins a shot later on tonight against Brooke for the Me and the Boys title. That's going to come up later in our main event. And we'll see some of the action that we just saw. We saw Rare Breed hit a massive power bomb on the Easter Bunny. We saw Zippe Falcon Arrow on Rare Breed three times before he was put down. Rare Breed hits a massive kick on Zippe. They had a great back and forth. Rare Breed going for a pin on the outside, but that wasn't enough to get him. And there you see Mikey P with an RKO on Darth Vader. That wouldn't prove to get Darth Vader, though. Danger Boy Dana Boyle coming in with that sixth spot. That's so valuable, sixth spot, and that's going to see him head to our main event tonight to take on Brooke for the Me and the Boys Championship. But before we do that, before we do that, friends, we got one that I'm excited for. We got one that I'm excited for. We're going to see a $12,000 title match, and we're going to see DMP take on James. DMP earning that spot last week by uh, winning his tag match with a bit of help from Sheamus taking on uh, Dr. Volcano and Bo Dallas. So I'm excited for that one. Two matches left here, friends, and then I'll tell you, uh, I'll tease what I can for next week. I'm going to open that up now, actually, so we're not uh, waiting around later for me to open those notes. There he is. There's James. There's DMP. We're going to slide this over to the Wasteland Arena, which is the custom me and the boys arena. We're going to give these guys three finishing moves each. I'm going to accept all of this. I'm going to pick our championship. We want the million dollar championship. That of course belongs to James as of right now. And DMP going to get a shot. DMP, former $12,000 champion. I think we've had uh, three or four now. We had Kennedy... Of course, 12K Thou coming in with it, losing it to Kennedy. And uh, I believe DMP had it next and then lost it back to Kennedy. I can't remember. I have to check my notes. I'd have to go back and check the notes to see the history, the coveted history, the prestigious history of the $12,000 title here at Me and the Boys Wrestling. Loading, loading, loading. Kind of our mid-card title here at Me and the Boys Wrestling. The $12,000 championship. Always lots going on. Always lots to fight for. Donald Trump, our Money in the Bank holder. Sugarfoot Brooke Kavanaugh, our current champion. Here we go. James going to square up with DMP. James misses wild with a shot. It's going to give DMP. Going to give DMP an opportunity here to hit a power bomb. And go for a pin. It's too soon, but DMP rolls that power bomb over into a Boston Crab, and the crowd behind DMP early with the "This is awesome" chant. James reverses out of that Boston Crab, but DMP is going to pick him up. Oh wow! DMP is going to hit that Hurricanrana set set James up for the six one nine. Just hammers him like that. DMP now going to slide back into the ring. He's going to go for a pin. Wow. He's going to get him just like that. James, really? Just like that? Wow, DMP's going to take his title back and uh, make James look silly in the process. That was a squash match. DMP just... Uh, just vicious. Just looking dominant out there and not James's night. 
Looked like the Ultimate Warrior taking on the Honky Tonk Man at SummerSlam 89 or whatever. James wasn't ready. Wasn't ready for the big man. Well. Here is your winner and the new million dollar champion. The Gentle the Giant, gentle the Demented giant. Maniacal Psychopath, DMP. And this one's in the books. That Standing proud. That was a win over Got his million dollar championship the back. Sorry, the $12,000 championship WWE. back. Congratulations. Friends, you know what that means. We've got one match left. It's our main event. Our main event where the Me and the Boys Championship will be on the line in a normal match, of course, to inspire the Money in the Bank holder to come and cash in. We're going to see Brooke, Sugarfoot Kavanaugh, the current champion, take on Danger Boy Dana Boyle, who won a number one contender's elimination chamber match earlier tonight. Earlier tonight, friends. So... Having already fought, we'll see. We'll see what he's got left in the tank. Let's determine, let's determine who our champion is. Of course, it's Brooke Sugarfoot Kavanaugh for me and the boys. And here we go. Now, next week. Next week, let's see what I can talk about. Let's see what's on the list. Um, we are going to debut a new character. That'll be exciting. Always exciting. A new debut. Of course, going to take on Dr. Volcano. The welcoming committee here at Me and the Boys Wrestling. If you're new, your first match, Dr. Volcano. Let's make that a thing. Then, no matter what happens tonight, we're not going to have a number one contender for the, uh, the title. Whether it's Danger Boy or whether it's Brooke. So we're going to need a new number one contender. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to have two Fatal 4-Ways. And the winners of each Fatal 4-Way are going to fight each other. And that's going to give us our new number one contender to take on either Brooke or Danger Boy Dana Boyle. Whoever the champion may be. We're also going to see a $12,000 title match, of course. Because everything's on the line always at me and the boys wrestling. But for now, we need to see who our champion's going to be coming into next week. Is it going to be Brooke Sugarfoot Kavanaugh? Or is it going to be Danger Boy Dana Boyle? Let's see. Both these guys super quick. Both these guys super aggressive. So let's see where the chips fall. The champion going for a cover early. Maybe knowing that Danger Boy Dana Boyle can fight like a man obsessed. And especially with a title on the line. So let's see what happens here. But yeah, next week, chock full of action as well. So we'll see what happens. Oh, wow. Sugarfoot. Sugarfoot with that vicious backbreaker on Danger Boy Dana Boyle. And it's been all Sugarfoot Brooke Kavanaugh so far. Drumps, drumps, drops the feet right into the sternum of Danger Boy in a basement DDT from Sugarfoot. Two of the best shirts, I think, squaring off. Brooke with that haters wanted and Danger Boy with that fight anyone. And the Clarksdale Flames colors. Just all Brooke so far. With the championship at stake, you know oh, these wow. superstars are going to give Brooke with a sunset bomb. Over the top rope to the apron. And then just spiking Danger Boy down onto the floor with a power bomb. Overhand right lands. Oh, right oh wow. There. Brooke went for a, some kind of a kick or something and missed. And Danger Boy fired him into the apron. Right into the back. Danger Boy with a, a side Russian leg sweep out on the floor. And the referee's at a five count. Danger Boy fires Brooke. Over to there. Referee's at seven. Danger Boy's going to come in and break up that count. And both men now going to head back into the ring. Brooke hits Danger Boy with a big punch. And finally, just as Danger Boy had some momentum... Brooke punches him and then hits the double flip splash. A double rotation moonsault and he's going to go for a pin. Wow. A double flip moonsault.
from Brooke Sugarfoot Kavanaugh. That's why he's the champ. You see that side Russian leg sweep again into a submission move. This is why the move variety, you know, the, the impressive feats. This is how you become champion here at Me and the Boys Wrestling. Danger Boy going to be able to punch his way out of this submission, though. And we'll see how much Danger Boy's got left in the tank. Danger Boy hits a belly to belly. And he's setting Brooke up for something. I'm going to drag him to the middle. No, just go for a pin. I'm going to drag him to the middle, though. And it's only good for a one count. Brooke back to his feet. He fires Danger Boy into the corner. And he's going to rain blows. He's going to ask Danger Boy, where's my money? Where is my money? Give me my money. Brooke reigns. Ten shots down. On to Danger Boy and just lets him collapse. And then he give, gives him a couple of stomps for good measure. Brooke's going to pick Danger Boy back up now. Just to knock him down with an insiguri. And he's going to pick Danger Boy back up again. Brooke's going to hit a Northern Lights suplex on Danger Boy and go for a pin. Off the Northern Lights suplex, that's not going to be enough. Two count. Danger Boy sits up quick, recognizing that he's in trouble. Uh-oh. There it is. Brooke hits the Tilt-A-Whirl stunner. Out of nowhere, the Tilt-A-Whirl stunner. And just like that, we're going to see Brooke retain the Me and the Boys championship. After a hard-fought victory and a nice attempt by Danger Boy Dana Boyle. Perhaps too much having fought, you know, in the elimination chamber earlier. Maybe it was just too much for the man, but Brooke retains on the strength of that tilt-a-whirl stunner. Out of nowhere hits Danger Boy Dana Boyle. And he's going to hold on to his title as we see some of the action from earlier. So next week, that means we will see Brooke Sugarfoot Kavanaugh in our main event, and he will take on the winner of uh, the, the, oh my God, I don't even know what to call it, Two Fatal Four Ways. The two winners will fight. The winner of that will take on Brooke Sugarfoot Kavanaugh in a title match in our main event next week. And let's not forget Donald Trump, the current Money in the Bank holder. That'll be in play next week. Sugarfoot, standing tall, holds on to that Me and the Boys championship for another week. And that's what it's all about here at Me and the Boys. The number one title, the big one for Me and the Boys. The white strap. Standing tall, Brooke, Sugarfoot, Kavanaugh. He's going to raise that belt. I think I can close these notes down. I can shut this down. Come back to me so that I can tell you. Friends, thank you for spending time with me here at Me and the Boys Wrestling. This has been episode six of season two. We're getting close. You know, we're like, I don't know, midway point of season two. We're still going strong. We're keeping it entertaining. So please, if you're enjoying the content, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you have subscribed already, check around in some of those playlists. See if you can find a song you like or a poem you like. Leave me a comment. Do you want to be an avatar of me and the boys wrestling? Let me know. I can make you and put you into the action. We can do that. So until next time, friends, thank you so much for watching. Um... Yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers. <laughs>